Oh, Colin, your purse. We found it. Hi, I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. My family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, some videos I just don't know how to open it. Morning, howdy, welcome to the video. Hi y'all, I don't know. Anywho, so just a little update on what's going on. Our grain bagger, well, we actually bought that grain bagger. Really like the way it works, no complaints about how it works. It's being rented out right now. So we should have that back here within a week. And then uh, in the meantime, I gotta go run some errands. Colin's gonna do some hay hauling. Got some stuff that came in the Came in the mail, UPS, FedEx, whoever dropped it off to show you guys, so. All right, well, we got this filter blaster and this is from Mae West. And if you haven't figured out already that I really like Mae West products, well, I really like Mae West products, like cutting edges for our skid steer buckets, those poly fingers for our header, slip plates for our semis. Now the filter blaster. And we got it with all these other optional different, I call them spiders, but there's only four of them, so. Not a spider, but they look like one. Comes with these little protectors that go on the tube so that these don't damage your filter or these don't get broke off. These go on, we'll assemble all this all the way down to some little guys. So maybe even we'll blow the skid steer one out today. We'll see. Yeah, let's do that. Show you guys how that all works. And then Tiger Tool reached out to me. One of you guys on here that watched said that you use tiger tools you email tiger tool and said hey tony could use these on the farm thank you very much for doing that then you guys get to see all these different cool things and i got an email from them so i selected the kingpin uh removal kit and the pusher axles on both my trucks are a little bit loose so this is going to be awesome we'll get those uh trucks in here sometime here this winter hopefully it's a really cool nasty day we can't haul we'll bring them in change kingpins and use this kit Thanks for reaching out to these companies, guys. Really appreciate it. And before you guys get all huffy puffy about blowing out air filters, I never touch the secondary or the inner filter because that is your safety net so you don't dust an engine. If you poke a little hole through an outer filter accidentally, your inner filter is still going to keep the dirt out. So that's my theory on filters and I'm sticking to it. All right, so I just pulled the filter out of the skid steer and if you've been feeding cows with it, we could use it. Here's a little nozzle I'm going to use. Need that. And the little protection disc. All right, so this disc goes on first, and then this is the attachment that the spinner goes on. We'll just spin that on. And here, this goes on, tightens up a little bolt. All right, well, it comes with a valve. Everything's assembled here. I put this lock on here so it can't go any lower. Just picked it up off the bottom of the filter a little bit. Go take it outside and see how it works. Sweet. It worked good. I'm excited to see what a nasty combine full of chaff filter looks like. That's a few months off yet. All hooked up. Back to the farm we go to load straw. Time to see if this beast will start. Loaded.
Um, got a few things going on. Colin's going to be doing some hay hauling. I've kind of been just farting around the shop here. Not literally, just cleaning stuff up. Gotta get that area over there cleaned up because we got a new piece of equipment coming there. Should be here hopefully this week. Probably make the next video, but kind of excited for that. It's gonna be fun, fun new shop toy. Checked everything over, everything looks good. Straps are good. Ready to go to the Brown Ranch. Time to unload. Loaded, ready for tomorrow. Well, today we're not hauling. It's supposed to be freezing rain and high wind warning, so that wouldn't be much fun hauling hay in that weather. So we're gonna work on the shop today. Bring the blue truck in, finally get that block heater fixed. Well, here goes another cold start. We'll see how this one goes. <laughs> kind of wimpy, not gonna lie. All right, this thing's cooled off. We let it run outside a little bit too long and got pretty warm. So now that's cooled off, actually I just have like seven phone calls. Now I'm finally getting around to doing this. Colin's up there ready, got the vacuum cleaner, nozzle, suction tube, made to fit this side a little better. So hopefully we second nothing up. Did you take the filter out of that already? Uh, Don't need to get that wet. Nope. Yep. Yeah. I'll pop that out. Got all the sockets and stuff we need to remove it. And we'll see if, how we do this time. Here, it broke loose first and stuff. It's not quite as easy access as that other one was. Mm -hmm. Boys. Pretty simple to get to. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'll break it loose first. Maybe. Wow, that's gonna be angry. I think it's Tony tight and then some. <laughs> Go grab a breaker bar. Should really turn the heat up in here a little bit, huh? <laughs> I don't know why it's chilly in here. Holy smokes! Mm -hmm. 
Wait a minute. You're going to tighten if you're pulling towards you, right? No, it's on the bottom. It's listening. It must be a John Deere oil filter. <laughs> yeah, just stick the old Milwaukee impact on her. Yeah, we'll give that a shot. Three quarter inch now. Just had to have six feet longer. Yeah. Was crazy tight. I guess that's what he does, right? Leaves up. Ready? I got it. Oh, you're gonna turn on? Mm -hmm. Lost a little bit, but it wasn't as bad as it could have been. All right. Are you sure it was working? It ran, it ran out more than the other truck did, but... I could have probably maybe had it down a little bit more, but this hose was fluctuating and I could feel you it. You could feel it. There's like an air somewhere. Yeah, it was kind of like gurgling, like it wasn't a steady stream, so... Well, there we go. Use the vacuum again. Works out pretty good. We did spill... Just to make a little mess. My blockator was still working, but it was doing a really good job of mounting cord ends, and I just didn't want that to cause a problem like a fire. Pulling off the old cord, gonna just hang this one off the side. It's not the actual plug for the Kenworth truck. That plugs in out right here, but it'll still get power to it. It'll still heat the truck, and then we won't have cold starts. Too bad for you guys. I'm working in the office here on some stuff while Colin's working on finishing up that blockator, and I think I just figured out what part to order for that pressure regulator on the uh, snowmobile. It's an 05 model that was built in 03. And so I started going back and looking at some of those other year parts lists. And I found one for a 900 EFI for an 04 that looks exactly like the one I need. So we're gonna try that. And it's only $30 instead of 215. So we'll go that route. And then if that doesn't work, I don't know why it wouldn't. But it's gonna work this time. Well, and that would be why Colin quit polishing wheels here a little bit ago. Got a couple of them done, but our lines we run outside for ventilation to push the dust outside and get it out of there was uh, giving us fits because that wind kept on blowing back in the hose. So, well, good morning. The good news is the chicken coop's still standing from the crazy wind last night. The bad news is the shingles are in tough shape. <laughs> the winds it's supposed to blow the rest of the day but not that strong so some of the reports i've been seeing online are around 70 mile an hour gusts and uh i got one grain bin i'm a little worried about that is empty and i don't know if they've ever got acres put on that one or not so we'll go check that out i'm gonna feed cows for macy so she doesn't have to do that now it's back by the cows in the wind but oh there's the buckets they blow the back the side by side
Their feeder blew out of the pen. Shocker. Uh oh, and a couple bales tipped over on the stack. Boy, it was whipping here. Side by side even rolled away from the shop with flat tires in the back. That could have happened without the wind too, but well, we'll, we'll rebuild. Well, Colin and I have a few errands to run in both towns today actually, so we're gonna run over to the East Farm and uh, check on wind damage. Well, it's still standing and the lid's still on it at least on that bin. Looks like the other bins are not so lucky. <laughs> <One's>, <laughs> one of them is flopping in the wind uh, as we speak actually. Bin lids are swinging in the wind up there and the small access door blew off the hinges. Oh Colin, your purse! We found it! I'm definitely not going to climb up there and tie that one down. All these bin lids are bigger diameter than normal and they didn't change the gauge on the lids when they built them and they bend. And I think that's what happened to that one finally. Oh well. Did you put your purse back? Yep. Okay. I was worried about that bin on the end because that one's empty and it's auger tipping over but looks like we're surviving. <laughs> 